Right. Winners run four, baby. Two more wins and I'm through to day two. Um, but this team is real weird to see what I'm up against. It's it's Dragonite Colossal. Um, and I have absolutely no way of stopping Dragonite because it's it's safety goggles and inner focus. I've got no way of stopping the Dragonite from setting Colossal up. Um, which is a problem. Um, I do have options though. Um, like my plan is to Dragonite Colossal is to lead Groudon and um, P2 because then I can just set up Trick Room. Um, I think I bring. I, th I think I go Amoongus and. and uh, you don't use my back. Thunderous? Uh, this is such a weird matchup. Okay. Um, like, I'm kind of set on my lead. Um, I don't think there's any real need to vary from that lead. Um, certainly for game one, at least. Um, I don't know what to do with the rest of it. <laughs> like if they lead Cold Dragon Knight, I might have to max turn one. They don't have a switch in for Max Quake, which is which is good to know. If they lead Cold Dragon Knight as well, there's no way they have Woodsicon on the back. So I think I can get away with like Ground on P2 here, and if they lead Cold, just Quake into the Cold slot turn one and trip room. Um And then who do I bring in the back? I think I bring a Moongus here just to give me a switch into Kyogre. Um like, Spore under Trick from here is really nice. Um, Legendary Warrior, Safety Goals, and Dragonite. And then, uh, I think I prefer Thunderous to Charizard here. I need some kind of back end offense, but I think Charizard's just a bit too weak to a lot of the stuff on my opponent's team, so I'm going to get Thunder here. Right. Ooh, that was a big crack, Jesus. Okay, this is the first matchup that I'm, like, very wary of. <laughs> I am afraid of this matchup. Um,. Okay. The Ditto is also kind of scary. It means I can't set up my Groudon. Um, I need to be very wary of giving them like special defense boosts or whatever. Um, I don't really have a, a, a way... Th well, not a way through Ditto, but like if I start setting up Spideff boosts on my Pokemon and they bring in Ditto, I'm in a bit of trouble, I think. So I need to be careful of that. Because they're White Herb rather than like... Scarf or anything, so if they, if they, for example, copy my ground on, they can just start setting up Swords Dance, so I don't want to give them special defense boosts. They do just go Colossal Dragonite. Who's their back end then? I could see a Lecky Ogre or Ditto Ogre. It's definitely not Wins. Um, do I just set TR here and quake the call? Okay, special type boost on that. There's no way they... Oh. The other thing I have is to Quake Cole and just Ice Beam the Dragonite. I honestly don't hate that. Okay, they don't switch. Are they just going for it? Are they just ripping the setup? Um... No switch just means Dragonite does go down here. Okay, big Groudon. I can see this being Flare into Groudon. Um, oh, they, okay. So they're just going to go for some damage here. Um, I'm not going to do Heat Wave, I guess. If they burn me, I'm going to cry. No burn. Fine. We get Quake, we get Ice Beam. Um, so we get a double KO turn one, which is nice. Um, this puts us in a relatively good position. Um, there's no way this Ice Beam doesn't kill him at plus one. Um, and this thing isn't multi scale. Okay. Um, that's a fine turn one. I'm not too pleased about having non-max Thunder in the back end is the issue. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm caught out. I'm caught way out of position here, actually. This position, I don't, mm, I'm really not a fan of this, actually. Okay, there's Ogre. And ditto. Um, let's forget my laptop needs to plug it. Sorry, if, if I drop any frames on this, I apologise. I forget I need to have my um, laptop plugged in at all times when recording. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, so Ditto's now at what, plus... Two? Okay, plus one, that's fine. Um, so Ogre just goes for a spout here and gets a double KO, unless I take some kind of preventative action. Um... Yeah, there's just nothing to stop Ogre clicking Spout here is the thing. So what if they take a double KO? If they take a double KO, I bring in Thundy and Moongus, and I think I'm in okay shape. Uh, I'm just going to have to rip it, I think. Um, this is a really bad spot. Yeah, they just Spout. No reason for them not to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Maxing Groudon was really short-sighted. The Maxing Groudon was insanely short-sighted there. I put myself in such a bad position by doing that. Ice beam. Oh, I forget they have ice beam. That's really annoying. Um, okay. But, Thundy does have speed control here. Um, so, Thundy Mookus is a fine back end into this. The problem is they're probably going to max Kyogre. And if they max Kyogre, Thundy's dead. So, what is this? What? Max Kyogre. It's either that or protect Kyogre and Trick Room. So if I wild charge over here and they max, I lose. Because I don't live this. So I think I have to fly here to avoid getting just absolutely slammed by this. I could also... Ah, no, I can Rage Powder. But if I Rage Powder, then Amoongus dies. Right? I think I prefer fly here. Fly and Spore into Ditto. And then next turn I can go Rage Powder, hit it with Fly, and then... Wild Charge it. I think. Why am I still dropping frames, for God's sake? Uh, I'm sorry if this recording's really scuffed, but fixing it is not my priority at the moment. Um... Why is it so scuffed? Um, they max their duck, okay. I guess trying to get around water spout. Um, I put their max to sleep, which is something. Um, let's go opals. They know I'm a salt vessel, so surely they want to... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Max and Groudon was stupid. Max and Groudon was insanely stupid. Um. I should have said Trick Room. Hailstorm me. <sighs> yeah, this is a perfect example of getting a double KO turn one isn't necessarily a good thing at all times. I think what I should have done there is I, if I if they lead that into me again, I think I just go protect Trick Room, right? And then if they try and set up, I'm in the same situation except I have Trick Room up, which is very beneficial for removing in the back end. Yeah, they should have 100% accuracy there and then Hailstorm me. Because I'm not killing that Kyogre with um, with a wild charge there, so I don't really have much option. Yeah, okay, that's game one. Yeah, why wouldn't I protect Trick from on turn one there, actually? I don't hate the Pokemon I brought. Like I don't I, I don't think I ever bring Charizard or or um, Incineroar into this matchup. Like, there's nothing I can intimidate. Fake out, like, Wims has Protect, so faking out is kind of pointless. Like, I think the four Pokemon that I brought are the right four. 
Ugh, maybe I say ground for back end. The problem is if they just go if they go for the thing um, on turn one and just hit my thunder as I lose, right? Yeah, I, th I think I just I have to not max ground on this turn this time. That was just so. I mean, I say somewhere between greedy and lazy, honestly. Um, I think I do save again, but no max on ground on. Because then I could save my max for Thunderous, which is a lot more useful. Um, like, they can't KO P2. Yeah, there's, there's no way for them to stop me getting Protect Up, is the thing. Oh, sorry, getting Trick Room Up. Which means if they try and set up their call, they then put themselves in a bad position. That ditto is so annoying. Yeah, I didn't need to go for the KO on Dragonite. Why did I go for the KO on Dragonite, actually? I should've just... Yeah, I should've just gone... Honestly, Quake and Trick Room would've worked. Quake and Trick Room would've worked absolutely fine. I don't know why I felt the need to... Uh, I guess it was to get around. Um... To get around Dragonite. Trying to set up Colossal the turn after or something, but like, I don't care. If I get Trick Room, I don't care about Colossal. Yeah, that was stupid. That was that was really short-sighted, that game one. Okay. This is definitely a winnable matchup, I just need to not play like an idiot. <laughs> uh, so I think this time, if they do the same lead, I just protect Trick Room. Um, if they don't do the same lead, then I improvise. <laughs> they do Whimsa Lecky. They do have Charm on Whimsa, so I'm definitely not... Um... I, can, I can set Trick Room here, is the thing. Do I want to set Trick Room here? I'm slightly afraid of a hyper beam from this um, from this Regieleki. Little attack because they've got what the Intel and Charm protect. I mean, I set Trick Room here. There's no way I don't. Do I protect Groudon or do I go for just a, a P Blades right off the bat? Because I don't have anything that switches into like if they're going to hit me on this slot, it's going to be with like a hyper beam, and I don't really want to switch either of my Pokemon into a hyper beam. So I think I think Protect is probably just my best play here. Yeah, it stops me getting Charm turn 1, and I can just set Trick Room. I'll Charm me turn 2, but like, Aleki doesn't want to take hits even from a Charm to Groudon. Okay, no Max. That works. Um, Moonscott does go for the Charm, yep. Yeah. Probably Impulse? Oh no, they just T-Bot into it. <sighs> if I'd hard switch... No! Don't you dare. Okay, thank god. <laughs> If I just hard switched into um, Thunderous there, I'd have been in such a good spot. Um, yeah, I'm just going to P-Blades here, and then... Um, I guess try attack slightly better. Um, actually, go Ice Beam. They do Charm me, but like, I'm pretty sure P-Blades should, st should still kill from here, even with the Charm. Um, Ice Beam comes out, so Wims goes down. Yeah, let's see my double hit. Come on, Groudon, do your job. Thanks, Groudon. Bonk. Yeah, that he goes down. Okay. So now I can switch into Moongus. Um, if they bring in Kyogre, and that lets me reset Sun. Um. Oh, they could bring in Ditto on the P2 slot, is, is the problem. Ditto on the PT slot is a bit annoying. Ditto on the Groudon slot is fine because they end up with a charm Ditto. Okay, Ogre comes in. Is it Groudon, I would guess? Oh, wait, no, hold on. But they just copied my minus two Groudon. They have Sword Stance, which I need to be wary of. Um, they copy minus two. Copy minus two Groudon's fine. Wait, hold on. Are they going to overwrite their own reign? I hope return status. Wait. Oh, because of the charm. Oh, that's smart. That's very sneaky. Okay. Um, <sighs> do I need Thundy here? I don't think I want to th sack Thundy is the problem. I think I'm bringing a Moongus. I'm just going to go for a... Uh, I could try to take it to Ogre to reduce water spout damage. Ogre could protect here, though, is the thing. So I think I just want Ice Beam the, the Groudon. Get some damage on this. Okay, Among Us comes in. 
They're maxing almost certainly Groudon, I guess. Oh, uh, the white herb there is sneaky. Okay, it's into P2, which I don't live. Wow, okay. But Amoongus lives this turn and can start putting things to, putting things to sleep. Um, I just go for a spout. Wait, no, it lives in the spout. Oh, wow. That's so much, are you kidding me? Okay, um, I bring Groudon back in. I put their Groudon to sleep, I think. Um, and do I Sword Stance? So it's also to just rip blades. Um, go to sleep. Um, I think maybe going for blades is more consistent here. Um, reason being, if Groudon, if I go for Sword Stance, Groudon wins a speed to my next turn and gets the turn one wake up, um, then my Groudon could be in trouble. Uh, this just gets gets me damage on Kyogre straight away. Um, Perfect. That's a really good turn. So I could have gone for Sword Stance, but um, it's just greedy. Um, sport. Okay, let's go Among Us. Um, Ditto his sleep. Snooze. Mm. So I think I just put Ogre to sleep now, right? Do I give Sword Stance? How many turns off in Trick Room? That's the question. If this is the last turn of Trick Room, I think I Sword Stance. Oh, actually. Wait, hold on. So, Groudon's asleep this turn. I think what I can do is I can switch into Thunderous and Sword Stance with Groudon. Um, what that lets me do next turn is go for um, Airstream P Blades. It gives me Regenerator on a Moongus as well, which is nice. Thunder comes in. Dance. I can go for Opulse here, there's no way, because I've just pre pressed with plays, there's no way they, they press. Um... Okay, Ditto stays asleep, that's really good. Um, and. Oh, they do just spout, okay. Okay, Groudon lives, what a beast. Um... So now it's just Airstream P Blades, right? Um. I airstream Groudon and I press this place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Trick Room is definitely the play there. I don't know why I didn't Trick Room game one. So, <laughs> my opponent's side of the field is Groudon Kyogre. <laughs> That's dumb. That White Herb is a very interesting tech on. Um, on Ditto, though. Okay, big thundy. Yeah, now Precipice Blades are just... I, th I think Precipice Blades honestly should, after an airstream, take out both these Pokemon assuming they hit. Um, although honestly, I think if I, if I just hit one of them, I'm fine. Specifically if I hit Growlon, I'm fine. Um, okay, max airstream. No attempts at protecting. Oh, Growlon's dead to another airstream. That's nice. Um, I forget Ditto doesn't... Get all my bulk, does it? Um, Groudon go fast. Groudon does not miss. Violence Groudon is so good, I don't know why people complain about it. Dead. Both dead. Nice. Okay, yeah, Trick Room is definitely the play there. Trick Room is 100% the play in this game. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, let's go. Same four, same four. These are the right four, I've just gotta not play like a dumbass. Um Yeah, not setting up trick from game one was so stupid. Um <sighs> Right. 
Same four. The four are correct. She's got to be careful. I could have wanted to just press this blade stun. I guess if I press this blades, then I'm in a weird spot. I'm just thinking back to game one. There's no point thinking about game one. But I'm just thinking if I'd had made that play and I'd gone for press this blades, if they had just gone after my grab and there, I would have lost like pretty much immediately. So <laughs> I think just ripping a press this blades wasn't the right play. But I think yeah, I think I think protect trick if they lead the dragonite stuff is is the correct move. There's no need for me to vary my lead, honestly. Um, like I said, I'm never bringing Incineor Grout, uh, Incineor Zard to this matchup. It just loses too hard to so much of their stuff. Um, <sighs> okay. Timeout? Did my did my opponent time out? Oh no. That's unfortunate if they did. That's really unfortunate if they did. I think they may have done. I mean, we take those, but... That's a timeout. That's a timeout. Big time, that's a timeout. Um... Here's the back end here. Back end is Wim oh Wim's over is really bad back end. Um yeah, I think I just set trick from a switch in Amoongus here, right? They could hard read this and go Ice Punch and Blades here, but like I think I'm still in a fine position if they do that. I don't know if that kills. There's no way that kills, is there? That's unfor that's really unfortunate. They just max crowd on. What are they, are they trying to just take up my P2 turn one? Or are they doubling to my ground? Oh, they max Dragonite. I think if it, what airstream boosts? Hailstorm into Amoongus? Yeah, it just goes P blades. That's a slow boy. Oh shit! They crit my P two. No way. No way. No way. No way. Absolutely no way. If they don't crit my P2, then I win, because I spore ground and I ice beam cut, um, and I, yeah. If they don't crit me, I spore their ground on, I ice beam their dragon and I win. Oh, that's a fucking joke, are you kidding me? <sighs> Should just max P2. Actually, max P2 might have been the play there, honestly. You don't bring in here now, Thundy, I guess? Their ground on's really fast now is the problem. I think they just rock slide me. I think I have to bring in Thunder, but the problem is they have max um they have max ice. They have max ice and another P blades is gonna kill my Amoongus. Go for regenerator switching ground on here, but if they ice into that, that's so tilting, are you kidding me? Um Oh, 
That fucking crit just lost me the game. I cannot express to you how good a position I'm in if I don't get crit there. God fucking damn, there's no way that that airstream kills. Like, I don't think that dragon my airstream. I honestly think that was a roll. I genuinely think that even with the crit, that was a roll on the airstream. That's a joke. Miss? Miss? Fuck. I lose. Let me just go down with the hailstorm. Uh, yeah, I'm still faster than them, which is something. I mean, the hailstorm here, right? And that's probably going to two shot me. Yeah. What an absolute piss take of the game. I don't even know if there was to bloody flinch them, do I? I think so, I need an airstream boost on Groudon or I just hardly lose to Kyogre. I think I, my only win condition here is that I just get a bunch of flinches with Groudon. That's literally it. That's the only way I win this. Oh, that's a fucking joke! Um, I could air what? Uh, I could airstream sword stance here, actually. That could potentially be something. Um, if they take out... Dragonite, I think I'll KO with a plus two rock slide next turn, and I can just like hope to flinch whatever they have in the back. I think that's the wink on here. The wink on get a sword stance up and get flinches. Is that fine? I think that's fine. Dance off. Oh, wait, no, they've got Whimsicott in the back. They can just set Tailwind. Wait, the airstream? Do I live? Okay. <sighs> Fuck this game. Um. Get him over this Dragonite. That's got Ice Punch. I think I rock slide here. Just pray for flinches. That's so fucking tilting. Watch them flinch me now. <laughs> uh. Doesn't even kill. Crit man, come on. I'm so fucking tilted. I miss I mean I misplayed game one. I shouldn't I shouldn't have been in a game three in the first place. That's on me. But at the same time, like fuck me, that crit is so stupid. What is the calc on that? There's absolutely no way a, a fucking Dragonite does much well, goggles as well. So if we get out our damage calculator here, let's have a look. Oh, we're going to. Okay, damage calculator's not working, fantastic. That's a joke. Right, two. Uh, this. Um, two, grab one. So Precious Blades with my spread does what maximum 40% just under. And then Dragonite does. Even if it's max max adamant, right? Yeah. Without the crit I win. Without that crit I win. Without that crit, no shot they kill me. Absolutely no shot. 
Honestly, I think even after the crit, like, they had to high roll. Oh, you're joking me. There's no way. Come on. Really? So, do this. Let's do the crit on this P-Blades. They need rolls on that. Like, even with the crit, that's rolls. Even if they get max roll crit. Uh, actually, if they max roll crit, they don't need the... Like, it's not a roll, but like, Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. If I don't crit there, then... Well, how much How much is a plus one Porygon 2 doing to a Dragonite? Oops. I wouldn't be surprised if I could, honestly. Um... One, because I was at plus one. I mean, at the very least, I'm doing like 130 odd percent to their. Well, so that'd be like 65 percent to their max, and I put their ground to sleep. Or at least I put something to sleep in that slot. They can switch in whims but if they do, then I can just sludge bomb whims and bring in ground on once P2 goes down. Oh, that's such a joke. That's actually a joke. I'm so pissed off. I cannot believe that. Honestly, if they'd, if they'd missed any of their precipice blades as well, I might have won still. God damn it. I cannot put into words how annoyed I am by that. They need to hit P Blades, crit me, to win that game, and they do on turn one, and then that's just a, a position I can't recover from. If Trickrum goes up there, because they've pressed Max Airstream, if Trickrum goes up, I, I just win. So I bring in my Groudon. I go like even it, it like even if they kill my P two next turn, I can bring in Groudon. I go what? Spore into their ground on that turn. Amunga should deliver a hit. Uh, would Amunga deliver a hit from Dragonite with Koba? Maybe not. But like, even if they take it, like they'd have to airstream into Amunga's there, in which case they'd leave P2 alone, and then I can just kill Dragonite with an Ice Beam the turn after, because Dragonite doesn't have Protect. Like, if I if they don't crit me there, that's checkmate. If they don't hit a P Blades there and crit me, that's checkmate, and I win. Even if they miss the if they miss the Amoongus there, I've still got a decent chance because I can spore their Dragonite next turn, right? I could fly with Thunder and spore their Dragonite, and that would be dead safe. I guess that's still an option I had. Oh wait, no, because no, I couldn't because they could just come with another P Blades. If they'd missed the second P Blades, I could have also done that. But. I'm so annoyed by that. If they don't crit me, that's free. Like, what do they do with the back end? What do they have at the back end that beats Growl on Moongus under Trick Room? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. They have nothing that can beat me there in that situation. Uh, their Growl on would be asleep. They'd take a whole bunch of damage on their Dragonite. I could just put their Dragonite to sleep next turn, bring my Growl on in Swords Dance, and then I've got Swords Dance Growl on under Trick Room. And then I can do the same setup I did in the previous game, where I get Thunderous in outside of Trick Room and start speed boosting. Like, oh, that's so annoying. And it's that one turn as well. They could have crit my Moongus, it would have been fine. Right? They could have crit me any other turn, and it would have been okay. It's just that one fucking crit. Oh, I'm so annoyed. It wasn't even, like, in an intense mid-game either. It wasn't, like, intense mid-game, they get a crit and suddenly that tips it in their favour. It's literally just, like, that crit takes them from guaranteed loss to guaranteed win. Fucking hell. Well, Pokemon's a good game. <sighs> to the loser's bracket we go. See you next time.